it. But some people just don't talk at all or just aren't around uh -huh. at all. It's like DA, but if DA did more <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we're getting Ike, Inkling, Villager, and Wolf. Quite, okay, quite so a, Inkling from, from DZ. Yeah. It's, um, I'd say it's his best character. He, yep. he, his Inkling has, like, leveled up immaculately within the past few months, mm -hmm. so I'm really excited to see it. Why didn't he go the mac and cheese Inkling? Why did he go Fortnite Inkling? All right, well, I'm not going to question it. From the it. beginning of the game, you see Sone, like, throwing out an f tilt, maybe trying to get a dash in from, uh, from Kelp but for, uh, of Steel, but unfortunately not getting it. Um, and... It's gonna be it's gonna be up to Steel to kind of hang on to these stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, Villager kind of plays well on the outside and doesn't really like to do the close quarter combat too much. I've, we're gonna be seeing Chomsky as a bit more of a disruptor. He's gonna be throwing those aerials out, pushing yep. those wolf buttons, and he's gonna be accruing that damage. Um, I feel like Villager is just like a character who has a lot of sustain and doubles mm -hmm. because Villager can live to like really really precarious percentages and then like take her, like sweet time getting back to stage. Just like really like sort of if you want to ledge trap right now, Villager is just gonna really prolong that process as long as possible. But right now, yeah, Ike, Ike is gonna be the man with the plan for this entire game. Basically, Ooh. he has extremely strong aerials that are gonna be dealing a lot of damage, especially mm -hmm. that back and air a dash attack, just scooping up chumps. Wow. All right, though. F finally, red team getting some good stage positioning here. All game, it seems like Sone and DZ have had, kind of had them uh, sandwich somewhat, and now they seem to be nabbing these kills. Mm -hmm. Not quite, not calling out the quick draw correctly. That moves deceptively hard to punish because Sone likes to mix up where he's going to release it every single time. And right now, I just saw like a really, really interesting dynamic between DZ and Sone. Um, they just sort of like exchanged like the partners that they were respectively like edge guarding. Or because they both knew that they couldn't do a better job against the other player. And I, I just felt like that was really, really great awareness from both of them. Um, but right now, ooh, Steel landing with the falling, uh, I believe it was a back air, um, just taking out Stone stock. Yeah, I, I find it crazy that the, the slingshot is most powerful as, like, it's like you're looking down the barrel of a shotgun yeah. when you're encountering <laughs> her. It's wild. Yep. And Villagers, um, Villagers, oh both my god! The charge wow. up F smash to kill him at 70. I guess he air dodged into him or something mm -hmm. like that. It, it weird recovery option. It definitely catches like panic options. It's yeah, just like really, sure. really exploitable options like an air dodge back to ledge. But villagers forward and back of course, they get weaker and they get do less knockback as it goes farther away from the um, from the hilt of the actual slingshot. Um, yes. Chomp. No, go ahead. Go ahead, girl. You got uh, it. <laughs> no, no. There's, just, there's just so many different two actions happening, but DZ, uh, DZ uh, taking out uh, Chomp stock with the F smash. That, and that was super crucial. They need to nab mm -hmm. DZ stock quickly, or else this game is going to be a far more insurmountable. However, if they do rack, like, uh, Ike's disadvantage isn't exactly the greatest, so they, if they can bring Ike up to kill percent and net one of those stocks, yep. you're going to force it to be a lot worse for the, uh, for the yellow team. Mm -hmm. And, and there I goes Inkling. Yeah. And I feel like Villager is like definitely one of those characters that has enough disruptor tools to really, really bully Ike's recovery if he is forced to go vertically. Um, but Sone, of course, has maybe some of the nicest recovery mix with Ike in the game, but the upper not enough to take uh, Steel stock quite yet. I was going to comment on how well uh, Chomp's, Chomp was uh, weaving in and out of the yellow team's yep. attacks. Oh Ooh. my god, he gets the two-for-one special! <laughs> Jesus Ooh, Christ. Wow. That was kind of just like happenstance. I don't feel like he meant to hit both of them. That was, I mean... He was definitely going for at least one of them, but yeah. But regardless, that it move worked. That was massive. Out. Yeah, <laughs> it just covers this. It's this entire like arc of space that you cannot challenge. Yeah, it. You cannot trade with it. You Don't can't push a button with. either, or else you're going to eat it yep. that hard. And it, and it's like so reactable. Like if you air dodge, that sword will cover your entire it it's drift. Like, it's probably like one of his best moves, if not mm -hmm. his like best move. His up air is definitely up there for sure. It's godlike. Um, it kills so early too. It does so like like, not just that, but I feel like it's so easy to get conversions into it, especially with like the different spacings of falling neutral. Yeah, absolutely. It just has so much utility. The thing is, having a sortie is always just tried and true in doubles. Uh, mm -hmm. Ike is just able to convert so well, and I feel like um, Inkling serves as a great disruption yep. character where he can kind of just duck under all the attacks and run in there and cause some chaos. Mm -hmm. And I really like the option from DZ to start off with the roll, uh, with the ink roller because like that just like 
I don't know, for the first few seconds, it's just going to trip up the other player's momentum because they will be slowed down just a little bit. And he was even able to get a, uh, a barely out of it. But right now, you see DZ sitting at 67%. slowly racking up the damage on Chomps, but they're able to just convert off of each other so well. I, I like that you mentioned the roller because, like, not only... I, I was thinking more so, like, they would be forced to throw out an option, whether it be a mm -hmm. defensive option like Shield or Ooh. anything. But the ink being on the ground also makes their makes red team's approach towards yellow team a bit slower. So like, yep. I don't know if that was the intended effect of it, but like that was probably one of the most immense like startups ever. Mm -hmm. That being said, Stone just dropping off, uh, and now this is really where the game starts to move into a swing position. Oh, Chomp, Chomp opting to leave uh, Stone alone and instead mm -hmm. opt for the kill right there, except. He's and the be back throw, it. the back throw, like definitely taking out Chomps. He was sitting at 132 percent, but unfortunately, Steel was not able to actually punish DZ for that back throw. Um, but right now, this is uh, DZ just oh is doing God. a really great job of covering all of Chomps. That was really greedy by Son, mm -hmm. and he ate a nair for it for for his troubles right there. That being said, the red team already uh, Chomp already down to his last stock, but so is Son. Yep. DZ though doing an immaculate job of just weaving in and out of his opponents. DZ is oh. like doing a great job of just like holding onto the stone. Oh, that was so smart. Wow. That was so smart by Stone. And it's like you can't sleep against Sykes Recovery because like it will kill you at zero if, if, if you know, if you just slightly misspace yourself or, or you don't position yourself correctly. But I'm just still surprised oh. like DZ's ability to hold onto the stock is what I would say. I mean, he's do <laughs> he's been doing a great yep. job just like being sustainable this entire mm -hmm. time. Like he he hasn't been in the air like too much unless he knows he's not going to get caught up yep. in any of uh, Son's uh, traffic right there. And I like how Son's just hanging out the outside, waiting for yep. his opportunity <gasps> to come in. And right there, like he was like positioning himself perfectly for DZ to throw something at him and just set him up perfectly for that back here, allowing him to net a relatively like just solid kill. It can um, be a little hard for Villager. Uh, Steel kind of just throwing out a Lloyd right there, which will stall uh, Villagers. Mm -hmm. So someone was actually able just to get the perfectly lined up back air because of it. And now this is just pretty much easy pickings for uh, for Yellow Team. Literally really one. great positioning from Sone. He's just like, the way they're both able to just coordinate, they're just covering everything that Chomp's going to get back onto stage. But right now he's holding onto Dear Life, a dash attack, close, <laughs> knocking away Sone. Really far. <laughs> he just said, F it, I'm going to go for it, bro. Ah, and, yeah, yep. he tried to land either mm. with an aerial or just get some sort of uh, yep. empty landing. And DZ's very intelligently using the uh, the first hitbox of mm -hmm. that uh, up smash because it sucks you in. It's perfect. Yep. Like, the, I could tell the red teams, like, the red team, they kept it close for, like, the first game, but they started to panic a little bit mm -hmm. once. Uh, I, I feel like DZ and Son are just way more disciplined yep. doubles players. Their positioning was, like, immaculate. As you said, like, uh, Son was positioned on the platform perfectly during the edge guard situation. Mm -hmm. Even on stage two, they weren't too clustered up. They weren't bunched up at any point. They were either, they were always sa sandwiching or cornering their opponents at any instance. And if they were cornering their opponents, they were not, like, they weren't together. Yep. And another thing, like, about doubles as well, especially that we saw uh, Son and DZ do so well, it's not about, like, wanting to get certain follow-ups from, like, your opponent's combo moves, but rather just always constantly positioning yourself so that the combos can, or the follow-ups can just drop into your lap really, really right, naturally. exactly. It's, positioning is so key in doubles. Like, you could have, you could have like, butterfingers and have the worst button-pressing yep. text skill ever. But if you can just squeak out the correct yep. aerial at the correct time and be in the correct place at the correct time, you're going to get that mm -hmm. kill. Yep. Like, du doubles is a whole different game from singles in that your, your decision-making tree becomes a lot more simplified, but your decisions that you have to make become more diverse yep. because of